welcome to the global dream very happy new year 2021 today we are going to learn how we can use git version control or git bash and can open a code editor like visual studio code and start using it accessing from git version control in the last tutorial we did learn how we can use git version control and create necessary files and folders and how we can manage our uh, project okay and next step we are going to learn today how we can open a code editor using uh, git version control and manage the project all right without further ado let's start but before i start i earnestly request all of you those who are visiting this youtube channel for the first time or watching video tutorial uh, for the first time don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you can get a notification fine let's start um, let me open item item is nothing but a um, uh, terminal that comes with uh, mac operating system by default those who are using windows i think uh, cmd command prompt will come by default and if you want to download and install git bash or git version control you can do it or you can just use the by default terminals okay uh, we have a tutorial previously i created on how we can download and install git bash or git version control please check it if you don't have on your computer okay um i just type cd space tilde or tilde some people say tilde some people say tilde uh, and i'm now in the root folder of my computer okay i want to go to my desktop press enter and now i am in my desktop okay mm. No, I want to create a folder name is how to open code editor. All right. Now, what inside? Actually, uh, we are on desktop of my computer. And on my desktop, I have this folder structures and inside the folders I have a lot of files okay now I want to cd cd means go to or change directory directory means folder I'm telling git cd means change directory go to just I created how to how to I just type how to then press tab button and how to open underscore code editor has been auto completed press enter and now I am inside how to open underscore code editor the ls means show list and I see there is nothing inside the folder all right so I want to create a new folder Okay, 
um, before creating new folder I want to create a new file and name will be index.html okay all right just now I want to open the code editor I have to type code space dot and press enter and it will automatically open my code editor okay and here it is all right here is my index.html file now i want to open another folder in the last tutorial i showed you how we can create files and folders using uh, git version control but today i'm showing you how even you can create it manually from here okay i want to create a folder name is css okay and inside the css i want to create a file this is uh, to create new file this icon and the second icon is to create another directory or folder okay and inside the css folder i want to create css file so i have to click here first when the arrow shows it goes down then click on new file and you can say style actually style spelling mistaken style dot css dot css is extension of css and it's saying this file is css file okay now i have file inside css now i want to create another folder now you see when i click on this icon to create a new folder it's showing it's inside the css i don't want to create this folder inside the css rather i want to create it outside of it okay in the project explorer so i have to create i have to click outside then i can say js means javascript folder and inside the js folder i click and when um, goes the arrow down i click on file creation okay file icon and i just say app dot js and js file has been created okay now what do i need i need another one and that is uh, another folder that is assets assets folder and inside the assets folder i want to bring a picture picture or downloads and, and i want to uh, just take this uh, picture okay and i think inside oh Oh my goodness there isn't let me do it again so i can just take a drag and drop to assets ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, i guess it didn't come so what's wrong okay let's drop it again and now it is okay wonderful wonderful now i just press shift button with exclamation sign and press enter and the boilerplate of HTML is here and we are using get how to open code editor with git bash or git version control and we already have done it okay now just i want to type here h1 tag and i say welcome every one okay and i just want to write a code and it is uh, everyone should learn programming or how to program because it teaches us how to think all right 
who said this this is said by steve jobs all right now go to terminal click on terminal and terminal has been open and i just type here pwd okay let me make it a little bigger pwd means print working directory where we are how to open code editor exactly where we supposed to be okay now you can say what you will learn here okay you can say um, unordered lists and inside the unordered list there will be some lists and just i press shift option then down arrow and i can actually copy uh, you will learn here from and technology and from and technology are html css js javascript and bootstrap okay then you will learn also back end technology okay and you will learn python with django ruby on rails and you will learn also mean stack okay say for example now how you will run this um, file to run this file you have to just type open you are telling this terminal to open the file and name of the file is index.html which file this file okay press enter and it will open the web page that you have just created okay now welcome everyone everyone should learn computer programming because it teaches us how to think say steve jobs and what you will learn here from m technology html css js bootstrap backend technology python with django ruby on rails minstack and you can make it bigger okay now let's dial now let's dial let's dial we are learning a lot right you can style here how you can style just type style inside uh, head okay and you can say style body you select body as a css selector and a space then curly braces and inside the curly braces you say background color you already know all these things i guess because if you are following the previous tutorials you learn already a lot okay and i'll say crimson okay crimson and background will be crimson when i refresh okay fine now i say now color will be white okay now color all text color will be white you see white okay and i want h1 h2 and 3 to be black okay let's see i want actually before it i can put margin so that it makes a little um, nice to look at and even i can say padding actually before padding i want to show you also border how you can put border and border i will say one pixel very thin and it will be yellow or you, you can say gold okay gold a little different 
and it will be solid and now you can check how your web page has become okay now you see you have margin you have enough margin all sides and you don't have padding padding because the border touches the uh, contents the contents touch the border so we need little space to make it beautiful so i say just padding uh, is 50 pixels say for example and now you can check look at it okay all around there will be a padding of 50 pixel you see beautiful 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 now you want to tell about the instructor little about the instructor you can say uh, h4 so for example and you say uh, our master instructor okay I can say about instructor lorem dummy text and I take 25 words okay and I can just say uh, picture will be right here image tag and I just say picture is inside the assets folder I have to mention assets folder then uh, the picture okay and now we can check picture is there picture of the instructor is already there okay beautiful but if you want to resize it you can do it if you go to previous uh, lecture or tutorial you can check it okay now i want to make it black especially the headings headlines so what can i do I can go to CSS right here and say H1, H2, H3, and I have H4 also. So I take all these headings and say color to be black. Okay, fine. You can take any color actually. Refresh and you see all headings become black, including this, um, the quotes, okay? So I think it's beautiful. And in the next tutorial, we will see how we can push all these quotes to uh, GitHub and preserve our Mm, codes or program in the github so that we don't lose if we lose our computer or burn down our computer or stolen by someone or even mm, damaged by any means or uh, virus can attack our computer and destroy our codes so that we don't lose our um work okay so that's all for today again those who are watching this tutorial for the first time don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you can get a notification okay don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell icon and make comments to inspire me because I am sharing my knowledge that is huge. If you want to attend in any bootcamp, you have to spend at least $10,000 to learn front end web development. If you want to learn full stack web development, you have to spend 15 to $25,000 to learn full stack web development. And I'm giving it free so that those who cannot afford bootcamp even can learn software development, web development, full stack web development, and can get a new job.
in IT field, you can switch from your any job that you don't like to your dream job, dream IT job. Okay, thank you so much. See you in the next tutorial.